uh, where to place the substances when doing scalar treatment? Well, with scalar treatments, you can actually use substances to get the benefits of that substance. So you can put essential oils on the receiver coil and sit between the um, two units and receive the benefits of the, uh, the substance that you place on the receiver coil. Okay. So can we understand that um, uh, the receiver coil is the input coil if you want to input That's something? That's right. Okay. It's, 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 it sounds funny, but the transmitter um, doesn't actually transmit the scalar field. It's actually the receiver which transmits the scalar field. And so by putting the substance on the receiver coil, the information at that point will be inserted into the scalar field. And so we call the receiver coil the input coil, and the transmitter coil is okay. the receiver okay. coil. You just mentioned the, output coil. Okay, you just mentioned the essential oil or supplement some drugs that are the things to be put on the uh, receiver coil right but there are also cases that uh, people want to imprint frequencies into water in this case where do you put the water if you want to put frequencies into water then you place the water on the transmitter coil and there's a little gray circle on the coil and that's where you place the water okay yeah. Can people directly put water in between the um, two boxes, I mean, in the scalar field? To, so the water will enjoy the uh, scalar field healing, and then you drink it. Can you um, do that? You mean, can you put the water in the scalar field? Yeah. Um, you, some, some people have said you can, but we don't have any or much experience with that. We do recommend you place it on the coil. Some people have said you can put the water in the scalar field, but we haven't had any experiment, experimental results to clarify. Okay.